maybe the windows that you've ordered have a divider, either a horizontal divider or a vertical divider. The system that we've been using for years is an aluminum T that allows you to split the opening either vertically into a left and a right or horizontally into a top and a bottom so that you can easily remove the panel. This T allows the upper panel a place to rest and it further allows you to store the bottom panel onto the top panel so that you'll have a place to put it when you operate your window. This T-bar is uh, it's been used thousands of times and it really is easy to install and does a terrific job allowing you to custom make your acrylic magnetic windows to your opening. Um, most of the time when we install this divider we want it to be aesthetically pleasing. We want to make sure that it lines up with the natural break in the window. Um, if there were two windows joined together then we would put the divider in the center of that uh, joint. In this window, we'd want to make sure that the divider is lined up with this so that you don't have an effect of seeing two separate windows in place. Um, it is important to consider putting the divider in so that the bottom panel is the same size or smaller than the top panel. So I'm going to measure the opening. I'm going to put a little mark right in the center of the opening. And this is where my divider is going to attach. And the divider is cut so that part of it is longer and it's going to fit behind the steel frame that you've already installed. So you're going to put a mark on the steel in the center of the window where you've ordered the, or you've decided to put the divider. So the panel goes in place. If you'll take a, a small self-tapping screw, hold this aluminum tight, you're going to drill through the steel and into the aluminum. connection between the two. You need to make sure that this divider is in the same place that you marked when you ordered the panels so that the panels that we made will fit the opening. You also want to make sure that your screw is even with the divider here, not too far above it or below it to interfere with the panel. Once your divider is in place, you're going to use the adhesive promoter that we've sent you. This is a larger container, but put a little bit on the rag, and then you're going to clean the surface before you apply the double face tape. It just takes a second. That's a that's an ad adhesive promoter that excites the surface where the tape is going to stick. And once you put this on, it is not removable. So you want to make sure that as you're putting it on, that you get it in the right spot. You don't cut it too short, you don't bend it, crimp it. You take the steel that comes with the double face tape, peel back the liner, and it's gonna, you're just going to kind of move along the length there. When you get about six or eight inches from the edge, you can cut it, and then you want to cut it several times so that that end of that steel matches just tight with the end of the steel frame you have. Push it on. It's a pressure sensitive tape so you gotta push it on to, to let it get a good grip. Now you're ready to install your panels. So maybe you've ordered your windows to be divided into an upper and a lower section, or left and a right section. Now we're going to write on these panels that this is the office window, that this is the bottom panel, um, and just you can tell from the orientation of the writing that this is the top and this is the bottom of the panel. That's important, especially if your window is out of square, because we're going to make it exactly the size of the 
dimensions that you gave us. So we want to make sure that when we send the panel to you that you're putting it in the correct orientation in the right opening. Um, if there were five windows in here and you wrote on the order form, we'd have office window number five so that you know exactly where it went. So when you get your panel, it has a, a tab on it and you're going to you're going to peel the the film masking. This is a film mask. We had a we had one earlier with a paper mask. But you can peel back the uh, the edging a little bit to get a start. Again, the magnetite window cleaner. You're going to spray it on the panel. You want to use a soft cloth. Like I said, we use a microfiber, but you can use a, a soft dish towel uh, or a, a washcloth or an old T-shirt, something that's soft. You're going to rub it. You're gonna, what we're doing is killing the static and taking away the uh, fingerprints, um, whatever else might be on it. Put this panel in. Set the bottom in first. You don't want to rub the acrylic with a dry cloth when have the, uh, the liquid on there. The top panel is the same way. The top panel also has a handle on it. On this one we've installed a storage strip. The finish panel will have um, a slight gap around the sides that makes it easier to install the panel, makes it easier for you to operate it. It allows for it to expand and contract uh, when it's in the opening. Um, and to store your window, you take the bottom panel, it rests on this T-bar, and then the sides will hold it into place. So then you can o open your existing window. Uh, if, there, if this were a left and a right, then you just store one panel on top of the other panel. So remove it from there, pull it off, I want to thank you again for purchasing magnetic windows. This product has been around for a long time. Hundreds of thousands of people have them installed in their homes and businesses. Installed correctly, it's going to last you a lifetime. It's going to start saving you money today, make you more comfortable. We appreciate your business. If you have any trouble with the installation or you have more questions or maybe you've got a situation that you don't understand, we've been in this business for 30 years. We'd love to give you our advice, tell you how we do it. Uh, we want as many people as possible on this planet to have this product installed. So let us know what we can do to help you.